Hi guys. So somebody asked me to speak on gaslighting and it is a really abusive part of a relationship. You may not even realise that somebody is gaslighting because it can start off so simple as you're crazy. You know, um, it's gaslighting. What is it then for those of you who don't know? It's somebody who makes you question yourself, your beliefs, your sanity. Um, you know, like I said, using that example, oh, you're crazy. And it can build up over time. So you may not even realize it's happening um, to you even at this moment or, you know, um, anybody can do it to you as well. It doesn't have to be like, a partner it can be friends and family as well um, just a form of manipulation to get you to bend to their way um, so in a relationship um, say either sex man or woman can do this um, for example if I had a boyfriend who was like and I was like I'm sure you're talking to this other girl and they're like you're crazy you know um and you're like well you went out to the shop and didn't come back for a few hours and you know now you've got perfume and lipstick on you or something like you're crazy you're too emotional you know why are you acting like this you know and then making yourself making you look at yourself but not looking at or explaining their own actions and like i said it can be something that's built in from the very beginning of a relationship it can start off in a jokey way um you're too emotional you're too sensitive um you know things like that um so that you start feeling like okay i won't speak up on that because um you know i was a bit emotional i did react badly um did i you know why did i do that making you start questioning yourself Sometimes when you just have a gut instinct that something is wrong and you start to say to them, well, you know, you start to question them and they don't like it. So they'll start gaslighting you, say, you're crazy. Why are you acting like this? You're too sensitive. You're too this. You're too whatever, clingy. And, um, you know, so that you start to doubt yourself. Gaslighting is about planting seeds of doubt within you it's manipulative behavior okay um and like i said it doesn't have to be just a partner it could be your mom your dad your friend anybody like i mentioned in my last video um the one where i asked if, if you've changed and people keep saying to you like um oh you're moody or you're too this or you're too that um often when you're not taking their crap anymore so if you recognize that you know somebody's gaslighting you then what should you do okay first of all you need to understand that you deserve to be treated better okay um don't try be friends with this person mm -hmm. don't try and um you know please them that's what they want you to do and that's what i was speaking about in the transformed video as well um, they'll start saying you've changed or you're crazy you're acting crazy um, because you're not bending to their will they no longer have this form of control over you so um, don't try to be friends understand that you deserve better to be treated better you know deserve to be treated like every other human being on this planet you not you don't need to be manipulated you know, you are your own person. You deserve your own free will. Somebody who's going to love you right. Somebody who's going to um, take care of you. And somebody who's going to love and respect you. You deserve that. So understand that uh, in the beginning. Um, maybe when you've been through this sort of abuse as well, you don't really need to jump straight into another relationship. You need to learn to take a break in between relationships here but um i know a very 
extreme form of gaslighting and a person who knows who doesn't realize that it's happening to them for example um when this person will speak to me they will say well um you know their partner um was right because i did this and i started crying and but you don't realize because you start crying because the tension's built up in you like they've been implanting this in you from the beginning of the relationship that you're crazy do you know that you're crazy so you start wondering am i crazy am i bipolar you know what's going on but anybody would be when your mind's being manipulated like that okay so understand action has consequences so you know it's their action that is causing your reaction you're not just doing it for no reason you know they try to tell you you're doing this for no reason you are overreacting you're over emotional so you want to make like a clean break from that sort of situation um this can be like part of like a narcissistic personality also uh, you know where somebody while they've got you under control while you're giving and giving everything's fine soon as you're not bending to their will you know they'll either take away their love or go off and do something so you're like no 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 i won't do it then again they're trying to get you they don't love you they're trying to control you so definitely please clean breaks from that sort of relationship until you are well enough within yourself to not let anybody cross your boundaries and by well enough in yourself i mean um once you've recovered from this sort of abuse because like i said it seems something so small but it's a major abuse tactic here i mean you could look on like the government websites where you are for like help on how to get over this situation like medical sites and things like that um you know people who have been through it as well themselves look these things up so that you can see different people who have been through this situ situation you're not on your own you're not crazy you need to um conversate even with these people maybe there's facebook groups and things like that for it um to understand that something that starts so small can lead into something so big that you know some people have actually taken their own lives thinking um you know that they're actually crazy and things like that so please look this up get some help on this situation it's not um thingy um something to be taken lightly you definitely need to make clean breaks from this this is abusive behavior it's a form of control and manipulation okay like i said somebody you could have known your gut instinct could have told you somebody was cheating from the very beginning and you were, you was like i know you're cheating and they're like well where's your evidence you're just crazy thinking this and then it comes out after however long and you're like what you know and they're telling you you're crazy and you're like there could be another person telling you look i've been with this person i've been with your partner and you'll start to tell that other person um you're a liar you're crazy he already told me about you because you're crazy you know can you imagine what he's saying to the other woman about you that you're crazy if he will tell you that you've been acting crazy i'm just using he she just to make it a little bit more simple rather than you know the other partner so don't take offense to that it happens to both men and women and i want men to be able to understand that it's okay to be emotional it's okay to um reach out and get help um 
in these situations after suffering abuse, mental or physical. Mental abuse, don't let anybody tell you that it's not, um, you know, as bad as physical abuse. It, they all have their own strengths and we all know mental abuse is very, very difficult to combat because if you don't even realise it's happening to you until very deep into a relationship, it can have lifelong scars. And like I said, many people have taken their own lives over this sort of thing. So please, guys, you know, get help. Look on, um, like I said, hospital websites and things like that. There's plenty of help out there. And there's plenty of people willing to share their story, willing for you to give each other support. And this is why I leave my comment section open um, so that you can see, even if you don't comment yourself, you can see that there's other people going through the same sort of situation, similar things. You're not on your own. You can reach out to each other, support each other, um, you know, share your stories with each other. And I always try and get back to you guys. And um, like I said, my email's always in the description box there for you guys to reach out to me. Um, so, yeah, please do not accept this form of abuse. It's probably not publicised as much as domestic violence, but it should be. Um, mental abuse should be as well. You know, um, this control that people want to have over people. And it can start off by, even if you don't agree to do something for them, they may not turn up for a day. And you may be feeling like, oh, where are they? I miss them. And then they'll reappear. And it's sort of like putting you on the naughty step so that you learn that every time you do something wrong, they'll disappear. And then you'll stop doing whatever it was. Because when I've said in my other videos as well, um, words become flesh. Something repetitive will become. Okay, so when they're trying to tell you over and over, you're crazy, you're too emotional, you know, you're, you're acting a certain way. When somebody is told over and over again, maybe you might end up acting irrational. But that's because you're fighting your own self, your own gut instinct to trust yourself here that, no, I'm not crazy. You're acting a certain way and I'm calling you out on it. You just don't like it. You know, so they may be like, oh, forget you. I'll chat to you when you're in a different mood. And then you'll get to a stage where you miss them. So you want to call them and they're relying on this stage. They're relying on you wanting to call them and get back to them. And, um, you know, they're relying on that emotional um, support. They could start off very loving or what seems very loving. So you're dependent on them. And then, like I said, as soon as you're not being agreeable with them, they'll disappear and remove that from you so that you then feel like, huh, you know, it's just things that you don't even realize that start to stack up. Like, for example, um, I was in a relationship many years ago and, um, my friends would be like, do you want to come out? And my partner would say to me, yeah, go out. But I already knew if I went out, when I come home, he's going to either ignore me or, you know, things like that. He'll, he'll be mean to me or say mean things to me. And um, yeah, while you're in that situation, so it's sort of like, training you so I was already I already knew like I'd say oh no I don't feel like it and he would even stand there and say go on go out go out and people would be like oh you always don't come out you know you're miserable and things like that but I he wasn't going to stand there and say no you can't go out because then other people would would have been able to say you know she, she, why are you treating her like that so people want to stay like under 
undercover and covert in this behaviour. So it's not something that you may even pick up on straight away. Maybe you call every day and once you've done something they don't agree with, like they don't talk to you for that day. So it sort of like trains you into that sort of behaviour without you even realising it's building up to that. And if, oops, if you question them, they will, you know, say, you're crazy. You're crazy. You know, just setting in that seed of doubt, like, was I crazy? You know, did I do something wrong? So please, guys, please, please, please do not accept this sort of behaviour. I got out of that relationship and um, realised straight away, as soon as you get into a healthy relationship, that it's not that sort of way. You know, um, normal people will not expect that from you. People who are not trying to manipulate you will not do that to you. So then you'll be able to pick up the signs a lot quicker and get out of it a lot quicker before it does damage sort of thing. Um, long lasting um, mental scars that, you know, stay with us where we're then scared to trust people. We're scared to trust ourselves. We're questioning everything about ourselves because this person has done so much to us over the time, telling us that we're wrong and we are um, crazy, you know, how we're acting. We shouldn't be acting that way, you know, and maybe you're young and this is like a first sort of relationship you're going into and you have no experience. So you wouldn't see um, this sort of thing building up. A lot of um, first relationships, um, you know, young people can be peer pressured into all sorts of things and um, not realising that this is abusive behaviour. Um, I guess like if I do have younger people on my channel and, um, you know, they should as well look for these websites where what signs of abuse are you know because it starts off so small like i love you don't go out why would you go out if i love you you know why would you talk to you know your friend if you love me so you know there's lots of sorts lots of things like that that um are abuse and um you know both of you um need a clean break from each other don't try and be friends, like with this sort of person. They they could even try and discredit you to other people and be like, um, look how she's acting, she's crazy. This person had everybody who I was dating thinking that I'm the one who was crazy because in front of their face, um, I'd be like, and you know, if he was there and they was there, I'd be like, no, I don't want to go out and I did, you know, like, I would be like, stop asking me all the time. I don't want to go out. I didn't even want to change, like, um, you know, my style of anything. I wanted to stay in a routine to make sure that he would remain happy, thinking that then I would remain happy, which wasn't the case. Um, it never changes. It just gets worse over time. So the sooner you realise this, yes, I'm not going to lie, yes, you know, you are going to miss them still because they've been part of your life and they've, you know, done this to you, making you believe that you was in the wrong. So, yes, you are going to miss them, but now's the time. Reach out to your friends, reach out to support groups and see that, you know, this sort of behaviour is not right or acceptable. Um, and you'll soon find yourself on the path to healing and better relationships and where you want to be in life, focusing on yourself. So the person who um, messaged me about this video, um, I hope this helps. Good luck on your journey. And like I said, if any of you guys are dealing with this too, reach out to each other, support each other, please, in the comments. Um, and like I said, I'm not one of these YouTubers who ignores the comments. I'm here for the people. So I look on the comments. If you put any crap in my comments, I'll just remove you after telling you about yourself. 
I'm not the one, I'm telling you, I'm not the one. 